Gold prices moved higher midweek here after the FOMC meeting, and we'll talk about some of the details that happened there in a moment. But today we saw a range from about 1808 up to 1843, so pretty wide range. We did hit those highs after the Fed, so we did spend most of the earlier part of the day holding near the lows, settled yesterday at 1813, so we're holding near those lows ahead of the Fed meeting, but taking a step even further back. We settled on Friday at 1875 and really spent the next two days just trading down. Uh, seemed to be more of a position trade than anything else, but ultimately prices were significantly lower uh, than they were last Friday going in to today's Fed meeting. Today we ended up closing uh, the, the August contract at around 1819 and then saw a big bid after the closed, after the Fed announcement, taking it up as high uh, north, excuse me, of 1840. Now, what does this all mean for volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com and you'll notice that volatility had seen a major move higher prior to the Fed meeting. But today, after the Fed meeting and after the event and after the dust settled, we saw volatility coming off. So volatility, after seeing about a three or four day rise, has now started to turn south again. Recall that volatility had been trending lower for quite some time prior to last week's bid, but ultimately now it looks to be resuming that trend and heading lower as prices rally. Now lastly, let's talk about what did happen at the Fed today. What did they do? Well, the market, uh, Federal Reserve today raised the effective funds target range uh, up 75 basis points, the biggest ra raise they've seen since 1994. So a big move, but the markets were priced for that. So that didn't seem to catch anything off guard. And typically when the rates go higher, gold prices go lower as gold is a non-yielding instrument. However, we saw gold prices rally because after the Fed meeting, we got the press conference and Mr. Powell spoke with a bit of a dovish tone. Doesn't see the economy falling uh, falling off, uh, off a cliff here. Likewise, doesn't see any major rate hikes in the near future like we saw today. So we saw gold prices rally, we saw treasury yields decline, we saw the dollar decline after that, and that helped push gold prices higher. And that's exactly where they did, moving higher after the Fed meeting again, north of 1840 level briefly before pulling back to about 1835. So gold prices heading into today's Fed meeting, we're heading lower after today's Fed meeting, heading higher. It'll be interesting to see what happens in that day after when the market has a chance to absorb everything that's gone on with the Fed and moving forward. But clearly, higher prices are interpreted with higher, lower volatility. And right now with a lower dollar and lower treasury yields, less obstacles for higher gold prices in the future.